What's going on guys and welcome to Dubhub. I know I am an entire day late, but I wanted to inform you guys of all of the changes that have happened to Black Ops 4 multiplayer in the last 24 hours because this has been an update that has been released on October the 30th and there's been a lot of things that have been altered in this game. So we're going to start with the modes. There have been three modes added. This is Gun Game, Mercenary Deathmatch, Mosh Pit, and Chaos Domination. For the sake of time, I'm not going to get into what is different about all those modes, but I definitely recommend giving them a try. Now let's get into the changes to assault rifles. They have decided that assault rifles are way too overpowered and that there's too much of a gap between the skill of uh, assault rifles and the skill of SMGs. So they are making the assault rifles in total a little bit less mobile. Um, the ADS speed is going to be increased slightly and just across the board changes like that to all of them. And specifically the ICR has been nerfed a little bit it does less headshot damage and its reload speed is a little bit longer or its reload speed has been reduced i guess if you want to say also the vapor has been changed it is not going to do as much damage with close range headshots and it also has um better or worse fall off damage i should say so this is definitely a kind of annoying change and I mean, I don't really know if I like it, I kind of like that AR has dominated the game, but it's whatever. And let's just get right into the SMGs. Um, part of this kind of balancing is that the SMGs have been made stronger, so all of them have been made more mobile, so you will have more of an advantage up close, because ARs were um, definitely the dominant weapon up close anyway, so why would you use a non-range weapon when you could do the same effect from up close? So what they've done is make, made the SMGs a lot more mobile, so you have a huge advantage when you're up close, and I definitely think that that is a smart decision. The only negative changes we've seen with SMGs have been the operator mods getting a little bit weaker for the GKS, the Cordite, and the SOG, so just keep in mind that if you're using those operator mods they will be a little bit weaker, but besides that these guns are going to be a little bit more powerful. Now let's get into the tactical rifles. The ABR has been a little bit too weak so far, so they have decided to make it a little bit stronger so that it can compete with the auger and the swordfish, whereas in turn the auger and the swordfish have gotten a little bit weaker, so keep an eye out for that. The ABR should be a more practical weapon to use now, so I definitely recommend that. Now let's get into the sniper rifles. They know that the Paladin has been the best sniper rifle, so they have tried to incorporate a kind of a more increased damage to these sniper rifles because there's been a problem with the armor, you know, not doing enough damage when you hit the enemy in the chest or the head. Um, and the armor just definitely protects them from that. So they have done a higher kind of like damage multiplier to those critical areas they call it and that is something I definitely like to see because sometimes using a sniper can definitely be frustrating. In all the Paladin has been the only weapon that has actually kind of been decreased in skill. It actually does a little bit lower damage now but the Outlaw, SDM, and the Kashka all have better um, damages and they are definitely going to be a lot better so you guys can have a little bit more of a variety when choosing your sniper. Now let's get into the next things, the LMGs. They have noticed that the Titan and the VKM have been a little bit too overpowered so they've made the Hades a little bit better while making the Titan and the VKM a little bit worse so again they're just kind to trying to balance out the effectiveness of each of the same type of gun so any of these should be practically used now and there have been a few changes to pistols um, but mostly just the RK7 garrison has been changed it is actually going to be a little bit more time between bursts and a little bit less or a little bit longer um, of a reload speed shotguns um, I'm not even gonna go into this uh, because you guys can probably guess that I'm not a huge fan of sniper or not sniper shotguns and I don't think it's very necessary to go over them I'm sorry about that but I'm just gonna skip them for right now now there have been a few changes to attachments as well for grip 2 it says that there is reduced ADS flinch mi mit mit mitigation I don't know what that word means anyway um, suppressor there's a little bit more reduced damage fallout a fall off ranges um, and all of the the optics have gotten reduced ADS recoil. Besides the ELO optic, it has been um, increased slightly in recoil. Um, now the specialists have also gotten unique changes, but the most important thing to note is that most of them have gotten nerfed besides the torque, which has gotten buffed, so just keep an eye out for that. Now also a thing to know is that the spawns have gotten changed big time, um, so there should not be as much spawn killing anymore. I'm not going to go into these specific maps, but at maps that it has been really bad on, like firing range, um, jungle, even slums, the maps have been fixed, so there are 
in some places barriers so that you cannot get spawn killed as easily and I think that is definitely a necessary change. The next stuff we're going to be going over very very briefly, so um, the gear that has been nerfed a little bit has been stim shot armor and acoustic sensor, all these have been weakened a little bit. Perks that have been weakened are dead silence and engineer, so you won't have as much of an advantage during um, the time that you're using these perks. Now score streaks, the mantis, dart, and strike team has all been nerfed, and specific the strike team kills no longer count towards your gun streak and that is pretty much it for all that stuff. The gameplay, there has been reduced ranges for long shot medals for assault rifles, tactical rifles, submachine guns, and light machine guns, so when you're going for gold camo and um, actually roller ring camo more specifically, um, you will not have to deal with um, getting long shots and having to go prone in, in long aisles because they have fixed that a little bit. There's also been a few more bug fixes, but these are more rare, so I'm not going to go into those. Game modes, um, there's been an increase XP and free for all. That's something that's definitely um, important to note, but that's pretty much it for that. Um, maps, I know I just touched on this a little bit more, but Icebreaker and Slums um, in specific has have been um, kind of like altered so that there are barriers in the way of spawn killing so um, you're gonna have a harder time spawn killing in this um, there's been a few changes to theater but again they're not really important and wow I just flew that th through oh <laughs> can't talk flew through that and uh, we are actually done here so thank you guys so much for watching this video these are all of the changes although I didn't really go through all of them all the important changes um, that have happened to Black Ops 4 very recently so if you guys have enjoyed make sure you drop a like on this video subscribe to never miss any updates on the news going on in Black Ops 4 thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later